Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. We're checking out a game today called Odd Realm. I think I've played this before on the channel. It's a bit like um, Rimworldy Dwarf Fortress uh, pixel town builder game. Now, it's by a developer called Unknown Origin Games. It's um, it's really complicated, but it's it's fun. Now, this is one of the latest updates. I think it's like 0.014. Uh, this adds um, merchant room and vault, I believe it was. Let me just check. All right, sorry, I'll say that again. It adds markets and vaults. So the market is needed for merchants to village, uh, your village, which is where I was getting confused. And the vault is where you store your money. So... It's got loads of options in this, so I thought it might be kind of fun to play on the channel just to show you uh, how you do the sort of very basics, because I can only do the very basics. It's actually quite complicated with setting the, the rooms up and stuff in this, I find. So I thought it'd be fun to just to show you, you know, how you actually start the game and actually do anything, because I've gone off the uh, Steam guides and... I've not really seen many tutorials for this, so I thought it would be quite fun to show. So, this is where I choose my uh, realm name at the start. I can choose my factions. There's um, other factions. These are not available, so you've only got two at the start. You've got humans and you've got ancients. So, ancients um, do not have food and drink requirements, I believe. And humans, like it says here, they naturally find more resources. Whereas these start with higher ranking void based skills, but I've not done any of that. So we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to do accept on this. So this is our main like uh, realm as it were. So when we click on a, a little tab here, it gives you a little synopsis over here of what's in that sort of area. So you can see this one here, there's bandits. Um, might get attacked by bandits. There's also something called snoots, which is something underground. There's owls. Um, whereas if you go say, say we went somewhere horrible, like minus two freezing, there's deer and rabbits, night wings, which are, is that a, um, like a dragon or something, night wing? So it's all different, so sort of, uh, see, it goes further south, this is warm, um, bandits and sand worms there, that might actually be quite fun though, let's see, what temperature is down here, it's chilly down here, I want something middle of the road so we have got sandworms here still low something called chirping a small musical bird let's try that oh you can click on the map as well when you click on the map you can see these little pockets so i, I, I want to click on an area that has got little bits of water like this you see because i will run out of water now when you choose your loadout at the start you can go for pioneer so this is like easy mode you start off with a number of colonists with seeds equipment stuff like that or we can start off with vanguard that's a band of fighters we can go as a hermit a lone settler living off the land or you can go for custom i'm gonna go for pioneers and here's my settlement info so you can put your name here so you can put the shells. That's my thing. I've got five settlers. I've I start off with a tomb of war, a tomb of agriculture, a tomb of cooking, a tomb of industry. Now these are what I'd say you'd call like skill points or research points. You have a tech tree, and say to unlock industrial stuff, you need industry, and you seem to unlock it as you go along. So I think it's like the more like, items to make, the more buildings you place the more of that you seem to get. We do start off with Ren, which is our currency. We start off with 25 purified water because you can't just drink water, you need to purify it, which is a pain. <laughs> uh, we've got five palm tree seeds. We've also got some plant fiber, which is your equivalent to say cotton. Uh, we've got some logs, we've got some coal, we've got some wheat flour, wheat ale, wheat bread, gooseberries, potatoes, carrots. That's all stuff we can cook. Generally, you have to uh, cook the food. You can't just eat the carrots. You need to cook it. And we've got seeds for a load of stuff. So we start off with seeds for wheat, carrot, melon, and cabbage. Okay, let us depart. Now, the interesting thing about this, it's very reminiscent to me of Dwarf Fortress, as in it's multi-tiered. So you've got our little thing over here. This is our uh, Z 
and X levels, I guess you'd call it. So you can actually go between the different levels. So you can see this is actually underground. And when you get underground, we're going deeper over here. Now we can go real underground. And I don't even know what's going to be down there. There could be anything. You go high up. So this is like a high overview. So as you can see here, this, this is a pretty nice uh, spawning area because I've got a choice of four, no, five different bodies of water. So sometimes you get um, fish and stuff in these little bodies of water. So I might be lucky and get fish. So the way it works with the zoom, you can scroll up and down with uh, the wheel and it'll just scroll down and show you the different levels. So that's, I guess, the top layer where the water is there. And then as you go down, you're going underneath it, underneath it, underneath it, until you get to the other areas. Cool. Right, so I want to build a settlement and I want to strike the earth. So I'm thinking I might actually... So we, It's not really that diggable around here. We could dig around here, but... I think we might just uh, maybe dig over here. So we're going to try and settle around this sort of area. So you need to click where you want to settle. So I'm doing there. And here is my people. So I've got a number of people at the moment. I've got Sarah Torden. I've got uh, Laz Ulstead. You can actually click up here and view it a lot easier. So this is the uh, tech tree. This is the, uh, the thing I said about before with unlocking stuff. So I've got two industry research points now i've unlocked that one so i can go for either wood uh cloth or leather so let's go for wood if we click on that if we unlock this one it gives me a wood mill room it gives me wooden planks i get all these uh little skill things here i can build i can build wooden spoons if i want sewing needle lovely so we're gonna grab that so we'll invest that skill point there now the next one is we need two skill points for that one so we could spend another point in one of these so we could go for uh, cloth work which will give me a tailor room or we could go for leather work which will give me a tannery um what should i go for i mean I'm going to need cloth and stuff at some point, but I think I might leave it for now and go for stone next because I need one more point and we can get that. And I don't know how we actually get fabrics yet. I have not played the game that much to understand that bit. So we've got... Um... Oh, we've got trade as well. That would give me the market room. That is tempting. Oh, we've also got cooking as well. So we've got a skill we can put in here. We've got basic um, recipes here. And we've got more advanced recipes here if we do this one. Complex me meals. We can butcher various things. And do various fish recipes. Hmm. So we could do either of those. Right, so... I think I'll probably go for the... Uh, should I go for the cooking thing? But we, we can make alcohol as well. <laughs> so there's a... There's a number of things we can make. I think alcohol is probably more important in my life. So let's get the alcohol. And we've got agriculture. So we've got the basic of agriculture, which means we can plant these basic uh, recipes, which all seems to be um, various types of food and stuff. Um, I reckon we can probably get some form of... Um, what's the word for it? Like craftable stuff from something on here. I don't know what it is yet, though. It's got to be one of these. I don't know which it is. So we have got forestry. We've also got another tomb here. I need, I need to figure out which ones of these I can get the buildable stuff from for making cloth and stuff. Um, oh, wells as well. Now, that would be important. If we get wells, we can get water. Yes, we will get that. I have never had that before. And we've also got this thing called Arcana, which is, it seems to be, it's like spells and stuff. And then we've also got warfare down there. So that's all my points spent apart from the one, which we're not going to spend just yet. So as I've always got sidetracked by this, uh, let's try and talk more about the uh, interface. So this is the 
the current depth at the moment. And that's the zoom. I can move around the map like that, like that. Um, we're over here. Now we've got main menu there. We've got the overworld map here. So you can see, you know, what's in the next like sector. Uh, notifications overlay is on here. So you can see here, I've unlocked various things and recipes and pattern pla plans for doing stuff there. Uh, this is a high overview of uh, water and beverages. So I've got 30, I've got five meals, I've got 70 raw food, I've got 50 ren, which is the, uh, the, the, the um, currency. And I've got five humans. I can have a maximum population of 99. And I've got 36 new blueprints. So that's an alert. So if I pause that, unpause it, you'll see it'll idle and start running around doing stuff. Cool. Uh, down here, that's generally your thing you're clicked on. So if I hover over that there, you can see that's a little bit of tin there, a little bit there. And if I move around, you can see that's a rock. Um, this is a tree. It's an, an iro tree. Um, that is another one, another arrow tree. These little bits here, so there's things like myrtle grass. Um, there is, what else is there? There is lady harp. And they, they all, all this stuff will actually sort of grow as you're playing as well, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got another overlay. So there is shortcuts for this. So over here is all, all the uh, overlays. So you can press tab and switch between that. It seems to give you like a... Um, an indication of how like high stuff is, I think that is. Yeah, it's just showing me like the higher stuff. Um, next up, we've got the uh, jobs overlay. No one's doing anything at the moment because we're all lazy. Room overlay. These are all things they're going to show you as we play. Um, temperature overlay, so you can see uh, various heat levels. That's interesting. So what's hot here? Void crystal. Ah, I've not actually experienced that yet. That's a random thing. Uh, what else can we look at? Mm, nothing really that useful at the moment. So that is the industry little tab thing over there. This is your rooms over here. This is settlers overview. Um, you've got diets. You've got uniforms, inventory. You've got the inventory shows you all the stuff you own there. And this is where the meat of the jobs are down here. So this is jobs. So how to start off. Right, well, first of all, we're going to need some wood. So I click on the login skill. And then you need to... You can see what you can click on when you're in a certain view. So if I click on mining and then move around. Now, if you notice like that there... That's a, that's a stone block, and that's one. It's got a little green thing around it. However, if we go to, like, axe, the axe one for login, it's not highlighted, so you can sort of see immediately where stuff is by that, and you can click on it. Let me just change the angle. You need to change the axis properly, so you can either highlight it like that, or you can just left-click on it. So that's three blocks highlighted. Now, axes... So we'll highlight again. These are all highlighted in green. So I can just, I know I'm around this area. So I can just go, right, I want that, that, um, that, that. And then if we press escape, unpause it, you'll see these off going to do stuff. So that one is chopping down uh, a tree. So you can see he's going to hit this log. And then the tree call falls down and we've got a load of wooden logs. This one is chopping this stone down here. So he's mining. And then once we've mined this, we'll get a few little uh, chunks from it. We've got two stone chunks. And in order to differentiate between who does what, you need to go into settlers, skill permissions. And if you played RimWorld, you'll recognize this sort of thing. So this is your skill tree. So at the moment, I have one miner. So you can see this one here, Anif, is doing all the mining. And it's, it's like the skill level... I don't know what the maximum cap is. I'm assuming it's 1 to 20. So that means these are 14, so they're pretty decent. If you want to add someone else to it, you can just click on the skill like that to activate it. And 
that is for mining. So this is for logging. I've only got one logger at the moment. I want to get... Um, I want to get some growing done. So let's look for the growing skill. It's this one, planting. So I'm going to do a couple planting. And... I need to make sure they're not going to clash with the job. So let's have these two bottom one as miners. Take you off planting. And then we'll have... Let's have you as um, a logger. Because we don't need a huge amount of logs. And then we'll have you two as planters. So you can't seem to alter the priority on the skills, which is a bit, a bit disappointing. So that means that then three now are going to do planting. That one's going to do... Oh, wait a minute. I need to take you off. Yeah, so these two are going to do planting. Let's unpause it. This one is going to be doing um, logging, and these are going to do mining. So you should see them all running off now. Now I need to get some seeds planted. So we go to ag agriculture down here, and I've got 10 carrots. So what I can do with this is... I can actually plant and drag here. So I've got 10. So that's 1 by 10. Plunk. Do the same with the melon. Uh, and we've got wheat as well. So all the things that you, you build in this game are done like this, where they'll go over to it, and you'll see it start slowly filling up as they fill it up like that. So that's planting carrot, melon... And wheat. Lovely. Now, I did need quite a lot of stone. So, I'm going to make sure I get all the stone on the surface. And we're going to do a well. So, yeah. That's going to keep me busy. I can't see any more bits of stone. Oh, there's one more bit there. Another bit at the end. Another bit there. I think that's pretty much it all. Okay, now, it said that we had the option to build a well from the uh, the tech we did before. So, we'll go to uh, room, and we need to do a well house. Now, I don't know what the, 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 the uh, rule is for building this well house, how big we need to make it. So, I'm going to assume that it needs to be biggish. So, you drag and plant stuff like that, and then somebody will come and place it. Well, build it. But I think I need to add some stuff to it as well. So, that it's it's a bit like stockpiles. That says that's going to be a well room, but then I need to add stuff to it. Now, it's a little bit complicated, this. So, if you right-click on it, it brings up room management. And if you right-click on it... Wait a minute. I need to add... Um, I think it's once you've got the room management, if you right-click on that, you can do jobs. So I can do add jobs, and I can do collect water and draw water from well. Now, what we need to do for this now is we need to add a single well. So this probably, this cell could be one square. It does say I need a, a, a well for this thing. So what you can do is, once you've got the requirements like that, I could actually... Let me see. So in order to cancel building something, you click on the item like that, and you right-click. So I think this only needs to be a one cell. Now, the tricky part is actually building it and placing it in the right sector. So it's, it's three right from that bit. So if I go to build, and I've got props on this one. Now, I, I know this was three right, right from that one. So I one, two, three. If I place the well there... That should be in the right place for the uh, the water. Hopefully. As I said, this is complicated. The things one of the games that the more you play it, the easier it's going to get. And you're going to be like, yeah, well, I was I even stuck on that? So someone's going to come and hopefully build my well in a second. Um, I don't think there's actually a building skill. Do we have a builder skill? So we've got fishing, researching, lever working... Um, we've got masonry though. Maybe masonry is the right one. Masonry is going to be building, isn't it? 
Now, he's mining. So you, you can hover over it and see what they're actually doing. You're picking stuff up. You're planting. Hmm. I'm tempted to do you. You're mining, but you're going to be busy mining for a while, I think. Oh, we've actually... Someone's actually built it, I think. So we've actually got our little... Um, Oh, it's being built. There we go. Right, so this is a good example to show you how this works. And so once this gets to 100, lovely. And if I go to um, room, edit room overlay here. Now I've got the well house here. If I right click on this. So I've already got what, that thing added to it. And you can see there are no entities with the surviving skill enabled that can do this job. So what we'll do is we'll come into this and it's saying that someone in here needs to have the skill to do that. So if I drag this stat window, come on. I should be able to drag that window. Will not let me. Boo. Right. So I need, I need that skill enabled, which is that one. I think it's a survival skill. According to that, he's got the skill, though. So there should be someone to do it. Is someone going to go and do it? Now, they do go for phases where they just sit and do nothing. See, these are just chilling now. Well, I did want to grab water. So why is that not working? Let's go in this again. There are no entities with the surviving skill enabled. Um, maybe it's not that skill. So we've got looting skill, carrying skill, taming, <laughs> magic fighting, conjuring, removing, cooking. We'll probably need a cook, don't we, at some point. Let's uh, add... One of them's a cook. Fishing. One of them can be a fisher. I don't think there is a skill for that. I thought it was that one. Surviving skill. Let's add one to that and see. See if that makes a difference. Because I really would like to. Oh, wait a minute. We can change professions on here. Okay. It's a... a Mason. Right, choose a profession. So I need to have someone that's going to be a water skills. So we've got labourer. Is there a... Is there a, is there a skill to collect water? I can only see labourer. Hmm... I don't think labour is it, though. It says it's the carrying skill. Let's try. Yeah, just give him that. Give him the skill of labour. Let's see if... Let's see if you can actually do that now. Right, there's a stone well. Okay, so it looks like... And it, Are you actually the right person? So that was... I ought... Let's just double check that and see if that worked. So I art is a farmer. Oh, that's interesting. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why have we got two wells? Oh, this that's the water that's been drawn from it. Okay, so that's sort that sort of weird. But as you can see, it is it is complicated. I'm probably gonna make a load of mistakes in this because I am really new at this, but it's just it's just fun to play. So that's the food sorted and a little bit of water sorted. So let's start doing a home. So I wanna I wanna dig into here, and make this my little entrance to my little underground layer. Now, as it's building through let's pause it. As we're digging through layers, if I dig down a level here, so say we've got this green bit here, if I go down a level and dig at this point. You're going to see him digging through this bit. I'll, I'll dig in a bit where I'm not going to build so I can see what I mean. So, say we go here and I want to dig underground. Now, if I dig here... Let me show you. If I dig... Let me... Right, so that's green there. See, this, see where this is green here? We're going to dig here. So, if I dig over here... Um, come on. 
Right, so it's that bit there. So if I dig under here like this, unpause it. So you'll see I'm coming over here and working, starting digging. But it is going to be wrong. Because you need to get like underground. Okay, so there's your hole. Now digging. But it's not going to be... You can see there I've left like a gap. So if I want to dig under here, what I need to do is I need to dig down enough layers to go underneath. So I think that's generally you go down to the layer you want to dig. So I want to go yoink down like that. And now if I dig around here, hopefully that's going to be deep enough. So we'll unpause it. Let my miners go do their stuff. So they do actually have to navigate through the, the uh, landscape as well, climbing down the various levels. So here we go. We are digging down here now. Now, is that going to be deep enough? Is that going to be... Oh, okay. So see what I mean about it not being deep enough? So it's deep enough to dig under that. But that is wrong. So we need to go... I guess we need to go down a level from this. So we need to dig on this level. So we'll go... Let's try that. See if that works. Okay. So they're going to have to go down into the hole to dig down there. Come on. Get down in the hole. Right. Are you going to dig more? I think that's too deep. I don't think he can actually get to it. I mean, we have got a ladder as well, so we can actually uh, place the ladder down into the hole. So let's see if we can place a ladder down into this hole. Um, ladders are... We start off with a ladder in our kit. Wooden ladder. So if I stick a ladder in that hole now, hopefully they're going to go to the over here, grab a ladder, build it in a the hole, then we can actually dig down and strike the earth. So we're going to come over here, plant it. Not plant it, build it. I mean, I could probably put ladders between these bits as well to navigate around. So what I'm hoping is he'll put the ladder in the hole and then we'll be able to get in and out the hole a little bit easier and actually start digging further down. Let's see. I think he needs... Oh, wait a minute. Have I done goofed? So I've said to dig there. The hole is there. So I think I need to dig there. That should be it. Uh, that nine is, is flashing as well. I think that's the actual skill that the actual... Uh, the trade person's got. So who's digging at the moment? It's... Um, who is that one? That is... Well, there's a couple of them down the hole, I think. So Iot. Iot's the one doing the digging at the moment. And he's got a skill of... 14. So I reckon we probably need to do a ladder on each tear of this hole. So otherwise we're gonna we're gonna get stuck aren't we? So let's do a one on every bit and then we can start building our little rooms out. So you can just do big areas like this. So let's do a big area here. And then I can start doing my rooms. So I, think, I don't think you need a massive room. So let's just try and do a room like... Let's try three by three. So you want to drag it out like that. Leave a little bit of space like this. Now this, this isn't your quick drop your rooms, build your rooms. Like I didn't realise that it was so quick in RimWorld to do this stuff. 
you do actually have to do stuff like this. Right, so we've got a notification and we'll check that out now. And then you've got to leave them to do it. There's no quick and easy way around it. Right, we've got a notification. What do we get? What did we get then? I'm sure we got like a skill-based boost or something then. Um, did we get like a, an extra unlockable skill? We've got Tomb of War to use, but I don't think we've got anything new. And this is where we're going to do our little base down here. So we're just going to uh, build into this area, do all the rooms. Then we can actually put um, doors down here as well. So if I go to the doors tab, I can stick like a, a wooden door down here. I'm hoping it's going to be really quick to get up and down here now. Let's try and do ladders up here as well, just to see if this does speed it up a little bit, coming down the stairs. We can do, we can do like, um, stairs. See how, how quickly he's going down there. Let's see if we can plant a stair. I don't think you need to do the alignment of the stairs, so let's... Let's see if this works. So we need to do two sets of stairs. I just want to see if they get up and down them quickly or not. Okay, so we're building stairs there. 74% done. 100% done. Nice. And then we can hopefully check this out when they go up and down and see if they go up and down the stairs quicker. Right. And we need someone to come up and down now to uh, enable us to see if the stairs are <laughs> working or not. Anyway, we're on the ground. Let's see how this is getting on. Perfect. So, I can now start putting some of these doors down. So, if we put doors on the rooms like this. And we need props. I need a wooden bed. So, this is why I was talking before we need fibre. So, to build a wooden bed, I need a wooden log and two plant fibre. And then I can stick it in the room. Now... That doesn't make it a usable room. After we've done that, we need to go to room and designate it as a home. So if we do this and then say, I want that as a home, that will be like a bedroom now. Same with that one. And we've got a number of things here. We've got farm, wood mill, kitchen, distillery. We've got a well house. We've already, we've already done the well house, so that's fine. What is going on? Okay, stairs look like they are working now. They are coming down here building stuff. So we're going to build that as a general purpose room. This, I think, is going to... Okay, what are they doing? Are they having a bit of romance? I do believe that was some romance going on. You can click on the tags here as well to see what's going on. So, let's see. Is there any tags on here for romance? Doesn't seem to be. We're building that door. Well, oh, wait a minute. That's a wooden gate. Is a wooden gate the same as a wooden door? I don't know, actually. I don't think that is. I think I think these need to be doors. Let's replace them with doors. Doors seems to be the right thing, doesn't it? I think that's a wooden door there already. Yep. Okay, so we're getting a bed built here now. So we'll finally have a wooden bed. Now, the interesting thing about the um, the surface is we can actually collect resources from the surface. If we go to jobs, now we can collect water, we can, we can mine, we can harvest. We can also do this, which is harvest ground cover and harvest standing crops. Harvest standing crops gets whatever's on here. So this is myrtle grass. So I can collect this stuff there. And there is things like berries and stuff. So let me just see if I can spot any berries. I don't know if berries is on. We might not have any on the map. You can normally, you can tell them by the shape. Okay, what's that? Large crabgrass. I don't think that's what we need. I want berries. I don't think I've got any berries. Oh, that sucks. Sometimes you get radishes and you, you can get... um. Beetroots, blackberries, 
and I have none of that good stuff here. We've got, oh, we've got a beetroot here. So if I click that, I can harvest it. I can't see any berries, though. Wait a minute, what's that? Another beetroot. We'll harvest those. Is that natural wheat? No, myrtle grass. So I reckon we probably get, um, we must get, I'm going to harvest a load of it. We must get flax or cotton off some of these. I'm not too sure which it comes off, though. So I'm going to get these rooms done. Let me do... I need another wooden bed. Um, let's do a wooden bed there. See, we're actually short of an item for that room now. So I think it's going to be the plant fibre we're short of. So that is going to be awkward to build. Now, a lot of this stuff on here, we've got this thing here, dirt clod. All this stuff ends up being everywhere. So it's probably a good idea for me to do a little surplus room while we're mining and store some of my resources and stuff in it. So we'll dig that out. And I will have a little room for keeping uh, food and stuff and resources. You can see, look, he's having a little bit of a kip now in the bed. Now, interestingly enough, I don't... Oh, he's idle. Ooh. Okay, so we've got Tomb of Industry now. So that means we can now come into this. We've got two. And I can go into this now and I can start doing stone stuff, which will give me loads and loads of stone recipes, stone hammers, clay bricks, all sorts of stuff. So we'll unlock that. And now I can add more rooms. So I can add um, this one over here, masonry shop. And with that, I can make even more stuff. So anyway, that is all I'm going to show for now. Let's pause this. So as you can see, this is a really complicated game, but it, it does seem kind of fun. I thought this might be kind of fun to do as a long-term a long -term little um, game on the channel where I can just throw up like half an hour of the video and not worry i'm not going to do any editing on this whatsoever so this is just going to be a half hour chunk and just showing you you know what you can do building out the base and uh, setting it all up so hopefully this will be a regular series so if enough of you do want to see this as a series don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment anyway that is it for now i'm shirley rocks and this has been odd realm see you next time